Welcome back. I'm going to do some work on the car today. I received a complaint recently um, on the grapevine by a gentleman that thinks I don't put enough content in my videos. So this one's for you, Dave. Putting some more content in. Not Dave Jaguar, different Dave. Um, so today I'm going to... I started putting the front end on the car and found... I mentioned in the last video that my alternator bracket uh, was no good. My alternator position. And I've had to modify the front edge of the subframe. So today I'm going to have a look at um, getting the front end fitting better and seeing what I can do about mounting the radiator and the alternator in a different position. So stick around and we'll see how we get on. I'm going to start with getting the bonnet off and we can have a little look at what I need to do because um, I think what I'm thinking of doing is taking this number plate off here and where the subframe I think it's contacting there and there somewhere is just cutting it so that front edge of the subframe can just slip through there and then attach a number plate to that front edge of the subframe just so that fiberglass can just push on a little bit further I think when I do though I will have to change the I don't know if you can see in there I'll have to take this plastic cover off the top because it's just touching on that front edge of the bonnet there unless I change the bonnet to a standard type it's always an option but anyway we'll get the bonnet off and have a look So, right, so you can see down that front edge where the subframe comes out there and out there, contacting a little bit there. I might need to just alter the shape of that a little bit, but where that bar is down there, what I'm going to do is try and get from the bottom, maybe put a light in there and shine through so I can see anything, see what I can work out underneath. I've just got a light set up underneath here, so if we have a look, we can see where that is just touching along that bottom edge there. So, I just need to work out how we're going to maybe draw a line across it, pull it out and cut it, try and draw roughly. Where we need to cut. I'm going to grab a pen and see what we can do. It's not really come up very well, but I guess we pull the front end off and have a look at that. Meanwhile, I'll pull the number plate off the front. I wonder how much paint this will pull off with it. Obviously, I painted it myself, so there's Probably going to be some adhesion issues, isn't there? Okay, so you can see the line I drew along the bottom of the subframe. It doesn't look very square, um, and you can't see the end. You can see one part where I drew there, end of that line. You can see a little bit of that end. So I'm going to tidy that up a little bit with um, uh, a pen and some measuring devices, rulers or something, and then see where we are.
so that's the whole cut um, it's quite rough I've neaten that top edge up a bit which I cut quite badly first and that clears all the way around that front edge of the subframe so once I finish that edge of the subframe I can build this out maybe with a bit of thin steel to sort of come down and in to leave that and then the number plate can mount on there be like a, an original number plate bracket I guess I've got another aluminium press plate to go on that's not quite really pushed on but I think that that bottom corner just needs tidying up a bit it's just catching on there otherwise I think that'll do the job and that gets this shoved a lot further up against the um, A panels so it's much better still a slight gap there but I think we can work that out so yeah this that will get this fiberglass front fitting a lot better it's going to be quite close to the engine in fact it's touching it there but there's not a lot I can do about that at the minute if it touches the engine is not going to not going to move a lot so it's not going to cause a great deal of problems and the car's not going to do a lot of miles is it so I'll just tidy that bottom edge up and we'll move on from there Appears I've uh, covered my lens in spatter, so apologies if this isn't very good. Made these little plates either end of the radiator, and then I've welded a bolt onto that one. And then down here, I've made this piece. I've drilled a hole with a rubber grommet in there, and then that sits down there just over that engine mount. That'll get welded to the subframe there. And then once this is cooled, that will slot into there and form hopefully the bottom mount and I can do something off this plate 
and tie in perhaps to the back of this bonnet pin fixing to hold the radiator. Right, I've made a bit more progress. Radiator's mounted. That's tied into there. I've mounted this header tank to there. That'd be just an expansion tank, somewhere to fill the coolant up. That pipe comes off there and goes behind there to the back of the inlet manifold. I think you can see it. I don't know actually. It's in there anyway. I need a hose for that. I haven't got a hose yet. I've worked out my heater hoses, so I need uh, adapters to go from that size to that size. Same again there. Put some reducers. I've used this hose was one I got from the scrapyard from I think it was a Daihatsu or something. So I've cut a bend out there, welded it back together. I welded a bracket on there so it bolts to that point on the cylinder head. Then I've changed the angle of that bend there, welded it back together. A rubber hose comes along here to join onto there for the top hose. And then the bottom hose, I'm going to get, I need to get the radiator modified to move the filler cap to the top. So I'm going to get that hose down there modified as well to come up at an angle. Then use one of these adapters to meet onto there. And then hopefully that can join up to the bottom hose. So that's the cooling system. Pretty well uh, worked out. So I think the next the next job is going to be um, trying to get hold of an exhaust manifold flange and get the exhaust system finished. Call it a day there, I think. That's um, a fair bit done, I think. Boff, you'll have to let me know. Um, I've got the radiator now mounted. I've got the header tank mounted. One hose missing for the header tank to the back of the inlet manifold. And then I need the radiator modified. I'm going to get the, you can't see it, it's just out of shot. I'm going to get the cap uh, blanked off and a bleed screw put in the top of the radiator. Uh, and then that lower hose on the radiator modified to sweep up a little bit for the um, bottom hose connection. And that's the cooling system. A few adapters and bits and pieces um, away and the cooling system will be done. So I think that's a decent bit done today. I'll try and get... Some more work done on the car in the next couple of weeks i've still got um, some bits to do for hoses for the brake system and i still need to order braking clutch master cylinders that i'm going to use um, they're going to cost a bit of money which i'm a bit disappointed about and also i did say last time i'd do another video about the cost which i haven't done yet so i'll do that at some point the costs are getting not quite near my target yet but they're increasing a little bit so I have spent a little bit of money. So that'll be it for today. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time.